Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible a 3D wooden chair in Fusion 360. So let's get started. Before every single drawing the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly let's go here to document settings and let's choose centimeters for today's drawing. Then we are done. Close it and now as usual let's create a new component. Let's write here wooden chair and then press OK. Create a new sketch on this plan, for example, and let's start through two lines. Starting from this point, why not? And we'll write 44 centimeters. Double click on the mouse wheel. And now let's go up here with 56 centimeters. Tab to be on an angle of 110 degrees, as it can be seen. Now let's offset this part with a thickness of 4 and then press OK. Let's close the boundary now with one line, OK, and the same thing in the other side as well. And when it comes to those two lines, let's copy them. So press the M key, select both, create copy, and let's write here 40. Let's close the boundary again. And when it comes to this one, extended. Now let's create another line. Okay, sketch dimension with 4. And another rectangle here. 4, tab 36. Use the sketch dimension again. Between this line and this point, it will be 11 centimeters. And now finish the sketch, you are done. Extrude, select all these boundaries and write 4 centimeters and then press OK. Let's go back and let's make our sketch visible again. And now extrude it, this one and this one, with 1 centimeter. Of course, we need to extrude it in the other side as well. So extrude again, but for this time, select here offset and write. 3 centimeters, and when it comes to distance, write 1. You can make now this sketch invisible and look at that. Now let's copy the entire body, move command, create copy, and move it with 36 centimeters. On this plan, you must create a new sketch, so let's go to new sketch and we will create a rectangle. But first of all, press the P letter for project, and now press the R letter for rectangle. You'll write here 3 tab 6 centimeters. Sketch dimension again between this line and that one, and we must write 0 0.5. Extrude until we reach this part. New body, and then press OK. Create again a new sketch here. project, but select just this point and that one. Between those two points we need to create a line. So press the line command and now at this middle of this line we need to create a point. So we will write point, okay, and now you can delete that line. And now we need to create a center rectangle. For this click here, center rectangle with a dimension of 42 tab 40 centimeters. Extrude this part, the other one, and that one, with 2 centimeters. New body, OK. Extrude it again, just this tiny part, with 1 centimeter. Good. When it comes to that part now, create a new sketch here. Project again. Create a line now, starting from this edge, to be perpendicular to the other one, a line with a distance of 6. Offset it with minus 3. Close this boundary. OK, and now let's add a sketch dimension. And write 0 0.5 centimeters. Extrude. Okay, 
and now let's move it first of all with two centimeters move it again but for this time press the create copy command with minus 41 on this edge we'll create a new sketch again project a line between those two points and now let's create the central rectangle again with the dimensions 2 tab 4 delete that line now you need to copy it for two times create copy okay put it in one side and again in the other side sketch dimension between those two rectangles to be for example 4 why not and here the same thing also 4 centimeters extrude new body and then ok as it can be seen our chair is done but let's add also the color to be easier we will color the entire component and we will select here for example cherry and look at that our drawing now is complete I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me any service is just a click away and if you have questions leave them in the comments below as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time